Hey guys, my name is Rexby and welcome back to some more Let's Play The Wolf Among Us, where today we are about to start episode 4 in sheep's clothing. Let's go ahead, get the quick little recap, and then get in on this next episode. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The old, in with the new. Long live the queen. So yeah, some shit went down. We actually killed someone. I have tried to keep Big B human, but I felt in that moment, you know, that intense anger as well as with how much D and Dumb have gotten into our way. I felt like kind of made sense to do that. We'll see how it all plays out though. Because uh... Oh hey it's Bloody see Mary again. Oh no, just a dream. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Sounds painful. Easy Very there. painful. Now to move. Ah, uh, still spitting blood. Yeah. We can't be oh. in this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. I'll trust you. I, Please, that... Big B, don't move oh. it. Doctor. Look, that I'm just a bit looks engaged gruesome. saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh. Um. Okay. Let's set our bone. This. This. Ah. Uh, if you're weak of stomach, maybe don't look. It's a cartoon style, but still kind of gruesome. Oh yeah, that that's very bloody alright. Okay, let's uh make sure we set this. As the blood comes pulsing out. Oh that that that's just lovely, isn't it? Oh, well, that's set at least. Hmm. Our eyes went wolf for a bit. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. I mean, they were shooting at me. What was I supposed to do? Not much choice in my eyes. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think but I should stay. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... 
Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll you can be stay, but just please give us the time. I think we should listen to the doctor's advice right now. Doctor knows hey, Doc, what's best. How much longer, Colin? Leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Cause I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. Thank you, Colin. <sighs> there. All done. Great. Oh, that's a this lot of iron This is a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Oof. No thank you. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. <laughs> he knows what it means. It's just been... An unusual couple of days. I know. You can say that but again. Please don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll just stay silent. No need to always say anything. Guard against, as they say, Miss White. Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Hmm. I think Colin is jealous of his name being Swine. That's why they don't care for each other. But those those wounds are pretty severe. Because we're just gonna have a beer and some pizza. So, how do you um feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Ah, uh, much worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See, Sneaking strong rest. as an oak, this guy. How are I'm you, though, Snow? Dead. Thank you. I appreciate that. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Whew. Yeah, she it, really saved our life. Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. And pretty hard to kill. <laughs> yeah, just sounds you were badass. really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, the Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, That's those are the my second. two options. I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. It was really the only option. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? No, Snow We're did what she had to do Colin, because else we like would have gotten killed. They had guns. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Exactly. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. 
It can't Seems just be way. about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how don't it know. all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. Yeah. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Hmm. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This not town sure that has enough, enough monsters. Though. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we That's needed true. him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. Mm, I'll stay quiet, because I'm not sure what to Look, say. Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Mm. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. I think it everyone needs to calm down. Trouble. I don't think and there's anything Amundi wrong with Colin see, seeing huh? in my... I'm a pig, not a mouse thing. with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? I don't want to bring him to a farm, honestly. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Uh oh, what did Buffkin discover? In your office right now. Bluebeard? I'm guessing Bluebeard. Narissa. 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 That brought from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always mm. do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Yeah, we'll be there in a second. change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I, I mean, really don't want she to. She seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Plus, he is right. Like, he's a pig. It's not like 
they haven't seen a pig before. Anyway, let's head over to the business office and see what Nerissa has to say. Because that could be some good info, too. Or I guess we're not going to the business office, but the security office. I guess that works. Let's uh, meet with Nerissa. Hello. Oh, and there we go. That shows us the intro again. Telltale Games presents. But yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. Snow is starting to get a little bit too focused on the rules. I feel like now especially might be a time to let go of the rules and just choose a different road that leads to Rome, you know? Because they're going to play their dirty, you know? They had two people shooting at me with guns at the same time. Plus Bloody Mary with the pistol and the axe and everything. We were outnumbered and outgunned. If Bigby hadn't turned into a wolf, we would have been dead. But yeah, here we go. Episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing.